So silly. That was Kennedy making Willie Brown jokes. But it was another guy who peaked in the early 90s who made the headlines this week. Check it out. Hi, I'm Bruce Springsteen. Friends, fans, and the press have asked me who I'm supporting in this most important of elections. And with full knowledge of my opinions, no more or less important than those of any of my fellow citizens, here's my answer. I'm supporting Kamala Harris for president and Tim Waltz for vice president and opposing Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. Here's why. We are shortly coming upon one of the most consequential elections in our nation's history. Perhaps not since the Civil War has this great country felt as politically, spiritually, and emotionally divided as it does then at this moment. You know, because nothing says you're worried about the country like squinting to read someone else's words off a teleprompter. <laughs> Never mind that if you really cared about the people of this nation, Bruce, you might not endorse Kamala in the same week her storm response left people dancing in the dark because she gave the relief money to folks who weren't born in the USA. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop the Springsteen puns before somebody drowns me in the tunnel of love. But it's worth noting that Kamala has been endorsed by some of the most respected names in Hollywood, as well as Mark Hamill. So does anyone give a flying fudge town about celebrity endorsements? Uh, I don't know that this moves the needle. Most consequential? <laughs> Most, you said that the last time yeah. and the time before that. This is, you can't keep yeah. saying everyone is the most. I guess they're like, well, that was the most consequential. This is now the most this is how consequential. We do it in America. <laughs> yeah. This, but this it was the most, consequ most consequential since what do you say, the 1800s? Yeah. yeah. You're like you've been saying yeah. that for the last two. Not right. since the Civil War has this mattered so much <laughs> to the working people. You see, the the problem I have with him is the same problem I have with Howard Stern, right? Mm -hmm. Stern used to entertain the working guys, the working men and women in this country. And now he hates them all because mm -hmm. they're Trump supporters. Springsteen used to sing about the working men and women. Now he's like, vote for the people who are going to raise your taxes because I don't really care about you. He's also <laughs> Also a fake farmer. Did yeah. you guys know this? No, give it to oh. me. They, oh, so in New Jersey, a true story. I swear to God, hey, they actually had to change the law because they were giving a property tax credit to farmers. Oh. And he has this gigantic property in Rumson, New Jersey. It's like you know, 100 acres, or whatever. His property taxes should have been like $150,000. He was paying $600 a year because he was he had like he was selling like corn on the side of the road or something like that. <laughs> it's like I'm just a humble farmer. I don't know. Here's some corn. And they changed the law because he and Bon Jovi, who had honeybees, were taking advantage of this tax credit. Meanwhile, they're endorsing Democrats who want to raise everybody's taxes. Like, I'm fine with you trying to not pay taxes if you don't endorse people who are going to raise mine. Yeah, yeah. That just uh, makes you a gigantic hypocrite. You lie so Bruce Brooks is like, I always say it's like Farmer Bruce and the EIEIO band because it's just completely <laughs> full of it. So I'll put you down as a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, Kat, when you look at this, right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm not a big Springsteen guy anyway. Mm. But I think he made the point perfectly. Everybody who's jumping in to endorse Kamala is kind of doing it as a branding exercise. Right. They're not doing it on behalf of any actual truth. Like Taylor Swift says she's trying to protect abortion rights, but neither president can do anything about them because it went back to the states, went no? Went back to the states, right. So she can, he can't do anything on abortion rights, technically speaking. Right. I mean, listen, we're living in the age of angertainment mm -hmm. and virtue signaling. Yeah, yeah. And that's all these celebrities are doing. They don't oh, actually yeah. care about the, the tax policies because they have uh, an entire army of smart people that are yeah, helping yeah. them pay no taxes to your point, uh -huh. Rich. Uh -huh. But this is the thing. And, the, and I think in the last couple of years, I've really dug in on this. I don't want to meet any more celebrities, and I quite frankly don't care what they think. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because um, when you meet your heroes, they tend to suck. And so, <laughs> you know, that's why I hang out with you, Jimmy. Um, <laughs> 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 a lot of tough love on this. Go. <laughs> but I would say. When it comes to the celebrity race, mm -hmm. we have the better celebrities on our side. We're going to talk about this. Oh. Yeah, make we your do. point, because I was going to say this. If you break it down by category, mm -hmm. you'd rather hang out with all of the Trump celebrities, yes. even if some of the Kamala yeah. ones are bigger. Like uh, People like Oprah. Oprah's a big deal. I don't want to hang out with Oprah. You yeah. know what I mean? I think o Oprah has a book club. That's not exciting. Yeah. Elon Musk has rockets. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm yep. saying? Yes. He has cool stuff. I can yes. go to space. You can go to sure. space. Yeah. O Oprah can get you to Harvey Weinstein's house. Yeah. Not the best place to <laughs> be right now. Wait, yeah. saying? Or Diddy. Or yeah, Diddy. yeah. She's been to all of these parties. Yeah. They've done fundraisers with them. This matters. So Trump has the billionaire advantage. Like if you went through this by category, actors, let's mm -hmm. talk actors. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Kamala has George Clooney. 
who ripped everyone off in Hollywood by doing a Biden fundraiser, and then the minute the checks cleared, he was like, by the way, he has dementia. <laughs> <laughs> right. He wrote an op-ed in the New York Times. There were no signs, though. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the minute the, the ink dried on the check, he was like, and by the way, I'm George Clooney for the New York Times. He has dementia. He's got to resign right now. So you don't want to hang out with him, because he's a dirtbag. He's going to do you dirty. I like Jennifer Lawrence. She endorsed Kamala, but it's not a, I don't know much about her personally, so I don't know. Trump is James. James Woods. James Woods has an edge. Yeah. You know who else he has? Dennis Quaid, who was great on this show, mm -hmm. and Randy Quaid, who has met people from other planets. Right. <laughs> That's fascinating to me. He's got Cousin Eddie. He's all you need. He's got exactly. Cousin Eddie. That's from it. vacation. Yeah. Who yeah. doesn't want to hang out with Cousin Eddie? Right. Yeah. Merry yeah. Christmas. The blanks full. <laughs> I'm dying. That's, it. That's all you need. I'm dying. Singers, okay. Mm -hmm. Kamala has Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish. Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. uh, some fame there. Trump has Kid Rock, 50 Cent, Kodak Black. Mm -hmm. I almost consider it musically to give the advantage to, to the Kamala side. Okay, but here's the disadvantage. I'm a party guy. I don't know that I'm going to let Stevie Wonder be my designated driver. Okay, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to move yeah. on there. Taylor has a jet, maybe. Billie Eilish is kind of moody. You know, I don't know that that's a good party. Don't you go to the Kid Rock party and just shoot Bud Light cans? Yeah, Kid Rock has yeah. a jet, too. He has a jet! Yeah, he's got his yeah. own jet. <laughs> so I mean, what would you rather do, okay? Go golfing with Kid Rock and John Daly mm -hmm. or go to a protest with Mark Ruffalo? <laughs> no, it's so true. Or go to a white dude for Kamala Zoom with Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> See, Ollie, we've talked about this on the radio, okay? Yeah. The fact that all of these big Kamala rallies are taking place on Zoom shows you no one really cares about her campaign. Right. If you won't even leave the house, yeah. you know what I mean? If you won't even put on jeans to go yeah. to a rally, do they care? I don't think they do. If I can rock the work mullet, as my wife calls it, which is just literally, it's up from here and then down below, it's nothing. Uh -huh. And that's what I can do to support Kamala Harris and I'm doing that. That means you're not really that passionate about this. But let's not forget something else mm -hmm. too. Hulk Hogan yeah. is with is with Donald Trump. And look, yeah. I know that he was a fake wrestler, but he's still wrestling is more authentic than her entire campaign <laughs> and her entire <laughs> personality. All right. Like I'd rather get hit with a steel chair and have a guy fake jumping on that than listen to her fake plans about the economy. All uh -huh. right. So I say, real American, you back Donald Trump. Thank you. And then you just rip the shirt off. Gonna, you, you want rip, me to rip no, the no, shirt off now? Can Absolutely. I do it? Should I do that now? So yeah. the only thing I learned on, is brother. the only thing I learned is they're Trump definitely has the lead in cool celebrities, but they're tied in baby oil. If you think of Diddy and Hulk Hogan's wrestling oil. <laughs> <laughs> they use the same supplier. It's the same stuff. They're buying so everybody an edge to the Trump man, though. They were so worried about the doc strike, they wouldn't be able to get it, so they went to Costco and loaded up. And away yes. we went. Uh, folks, what movie could be president of the United States? We will unveil the nominees next. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.